Ugh. Maybe Chris would play Sakura, though. Maybe his hands would play Sakura. Oh, crap, I... I forgot to update the uh, scoreboard. We're good. We're good. We're in there. Round he one. is playing Sakura. Fight. And final dash, dash, throw. To start things off. Chris, feeling good. Feeling good. Getting that heavy kick, Tatsu. No pressing buttons for these minus in the EXTP. Catches back. I, my brain, my brain. It doesn't understand the the complexity that's going on here. This. Truly can only be explained by the fact that crossing was so good. Like I'm joking around right now, but that crossing was so good. It bodies the crap out of underscores, that's for sure. Anyways. Anyways, Chris. Just going, going to town, taking it. Like the life lead wasn't that good. Wasn't that much? But Chris looks so strong. He was looking so strong in that one. Underscore's clearly with the lack of matchup and all that's going on, because he's just getting hit by everything. Chris, knowing exactly when somebody wants to, uh... Wants the EX Flash Kick. Blocking that goes for reset other side into DP, and that's going to close out a super... Super quick game one, my Sorry, god, man. my Please. god, man. Give your feet a chance. It's not fair. It's not fair. Absolutely not fair. Round one. Fight. Here we go. Let's see if let's see if Chris's feet have learned something. Apparently not, as he just eats a boot to the face, Chris. Chris's hands working on that corner person. No, working on a stun. Oh, drops the combo? Was that an intentional drop? Not sure. But Chris, Chris's hands feeling himself just a little bit too much. And then possibly another intentional drop out of his feet? Is Chris mind gaming his own feet? Uh, it's Chris's hands get that great anti air. Going on, and then I am sure that overhead was supposed to be another boom, but he messed up the timing, and Chris is able to take another round. Underscore is though getting a great jump in. Chris trying to toss it on over, but still EXCPing. No respect. This young child has no respect as he continues his EXCP. Oh, crouching jab, and here's still a thing apparently. As up, Chris going for the cheeky stuff. It's almost as if Chris didn't actually go to the bathroom and he's just trying to make this game go as fast as possible just so he can go to the bathroom that much sooner. Oh, gets the jump in. What's it gonna be? Oh, what? I, I don't understand the setups that are going on. Chris just jumping all over the place, catching the back dash. What's it gonna be? Throw? What's it gonna be? Jump in? What's it gonna be? Another jump in? The air to air misses? Double EX. Fireball into double crash medium kick didn't even cancel it into Sakura. Hatsu. Chris Chris takes yet another game, my god. My god. This is this is this is brutal. Round one. Brutal. Fight. Underscores, he's got to find out something. Yeah, there you go, block something. Chris doing that right. Wake up, flight plunge DP. It's not even in this flight, what? Like, I, I understand why you would do wake up, flight plunge DP. I get it. Even though it has no invincibility, it's a slower startup than your crouching jab. It just feels so much better. Underscores, though, he's starting to realize that he's playing a child. He's, uh, he's starting to, um... I'm starting to see the pattern, I'm starting to see that disrespect, I'm starting to block that stuff. Oh no! Thinking that he cut Chris a lesson, no he didn't, as Chris gets an immediate jump in. Now we're going back into a little bit of a fireball war. A little bit. Does 
does Underscores think that Chris has learned his lesson? No, he's just air throwing him. Eighty dive kick, medium uh, pulse frames in the fireballs. No juggle off of that fireball though. Ah, oh, just getting all the fireballs in there. Oh man, Chris still continuing to press all of the buttons. Just no respect. No respect. We go likely. Oh, just goes for another jump. It goes for another EXP. But underscore is realizing that you know he's playing someone who's got no respect. At all. I'll win. At all. And he's able to take take a game. Closing the gap just a little bit. Not letting Chris reset the bracket quite just yet. Quite just yet. Here we go, game four. Fight. Sign Chris with the dash up low. Going for those raw heavy kick tonsils. Trying to catch a... Underscore's throwing a boom. Blowing things down a little bit. Good anti -air. Oh, goes to the B skill off of that uh, anti here, but uh, Underscore's ready with a crouching jab. And now he's got corner pressure. Gets the throw bait. And that's going to be enough to stun. Is that enough to kill? It's going to be close. Alright, not that close. And then, <laughs> still so very well aware that Chris Round two. He needs to go to the bathroom. The guy's trying to end it quickly. And then underscores. Playing a little bit too long. Getting walked up throat. Oh, great jump back to uh, the punish and heavy punch. He's starting to fight his way out just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, Chris jumps himself into the corner. It might be a problem as he's starting to get tagged left and right. Ooh, gets the back throw. And now he's got the corner pressure. But Gray here out of uh, underscores with bad booms gets EX to EXCP. Oh, whoa, just somersault in the super. Any punish? No, Sakura doesn't get any punish. Kyle's got some safe stuff, but low forward in the fireball. Especially in Meteor 1 is super good. Super good as Chris gets the reset point. I'm just going for that overhead, but Chris. Truly, he should have realized that Chris has got the disrespectfully pressing button there. What, what is underscore thinking that he can get away with an overhead? Like, Chris isn't going to press the button. Like, he isn't going to be EXCP. Like, he isn't going to be trying to throw you. Like, he isn't going to be pressing buttons even if you're a plus. Oh, but then a great dash up, upside down kick for the throw bait. Good stuff. Chris continuing to wake up with buttons. Continuing to wake up with buttons. Great block on that EX flash kick. Gets the back throw reset to get the corner position. And then great recognition from Chris to, to block because the, uh, the fireballs, even though they connected, they passed each Dial other. Win. Doesn't matter. His underscores takes another game, tying things up 2 2. 2 2. Round Chris one. rocking the soccer road. Soccer right. though. Live by the wholesome, die by the wholesome. Great heavy hit cast to go over that boom. But resetting to neutral just a little bit. Underscores with some good button presses. Those gaining that life, please. Getting that zoning game on. But, uh, Chris doing a good job fighting back. Slowing things down just a little bit. Not as disrespectful. He seems to be he seems to be maturing a little bit, but that might just be exactly what Underscores is looking for. As uh, he's got the life with all those great V trigger combo out of Chris, but no matter. Underscores getting a, getting that crush counter. Ooh, no punish on that whiffed uh, forward heavy punch. Oh, and then just jumps! Right over the booms, and that's going to be a super into death. Chris able to steal the round with a great jump in. Underscore is throwing too many booms at two of the wrong time. Round two. Point. 
Two boom, two furious? Two boom, two B trigger? I don't know. Too many booms. First thinking that he had me to try the EXCP through that boom, but no, he doesn't have meter. He just super somebody. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Chris? Chris using that V trigger. One to try and get some pressure, but underscores with great response. It's just keeping keeping Chris at bay, but great great shimmy out of Chris. He still got the life death of it though, and underscores looking good, although he just found himself into the corner. Goes to the dive. He, oh, the the greatest. That was such a good jump in range. Catches. Catches the uh, beats out the flash kick anti air and then the side switch to close out the game. That's that's a reset. That is a reset. Chris, Chris too good. Chris too strong. All right, here we go. Reset scores. Mike has to go. Won't be able to play sets tonight. All right, uh, that's unfortunate. But we'll we'll get in some sets tomorrow, right? Like I assume, like we'll be both playing E League. We'll be both playing in E-League tomorrow, and when we get tired of playing in E-League, we'll, we'll play some sets. Alright, here we go. Reset bracket. They can change characters if they want. It's, it's allowed. It's allowed. I don't think Chris is going to stray from his wholesome path as good playing happy soccer path. As they are going right into it. Nope, not quite yet. There we Round go. One. There we go. When is E League? E League is every Saturday and Sunday for the next three weeks. Wow. I just watched in awe. Like, I just watched that in awe of what happened. That was just, like, such good pressure. Such good pressure. Underscores. I'm trying to get that boom link going on. Oh, into the reset. Bro, wow, is, is Underscores gonna... Is he gonna steal it? He just stole that round! Chris had it so clean! So good! Round two. So good. I know, that was just the dirty like the, like they're just trading blows right now. Chris going for the side switch again. This time I'm just sort of not going for the EX flash kick, but it's just My god, like my my mind is blown right now. Literally blown. Literally blown. I can't even comment. I can't even commentate right now. Final I can't even commentate. As for the E-League, the E-League is a... Uh, E-League happens between uh, 10 and... 10 and 6 p.m. Pacific. So between 1 and 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'll be streaming between um, between 1 and 5 Eastern. So you'll be able to catch that. Yeah, you'll be able to catch that if you want. But it, it's you can join whenever you want. Anyways, where was I? This is just such an intense game. I can't. Oh, and then he drops the combo, Chris. Chris drops the combo, but then he just wakes up EXTP like, of course he does. He's been doing that so much. Underscore exactly. keeps Wait. on thinking. He keeps on thinking that Chris is gonna mature a little bit. That he's gonna, that he's gonna grow up. And he's gonna realize that you can't just eat, wake up DP every single time. But he does. He just does. He's done. He's too young. He's too young to learn. Round one. Too young to learn. Fight. With that, he's still trying to anti air dab. It's time, of course, gets a clean jump in. 
this time. Ooh, great jumping out of Anastor. The first is starting to look like he's in a little bit of trouble, but continuing to just wake up buns. And then just gets a raw jump in. Underscore is trying to front file a little boom at the wrong time. And Chris trying to throw a fireball at the wrong time. He could jump in on and then just catching him low forward. Underscore is fighting back. Bill Soffer, you are absolutely right. I do need a co-commentator. Which, if you know someone who wants to co-commentate, or if you want to co-commentate this thing, I am all for that. All for that. Alright, here we go. Chris continuing on to put on that pressure on the train. These guys cannot help themselves as Chris gets that V trigger combo using the plus frames, and then a great jumper range. A great jumping range beats out that flat kick yet again. Yet again. Fight. Yeah, Joe Monday runs the East Coast journeys. Fight. Oh. Joe Monday and Be Heard. They do the, uh, Joe Monday runs the, he does the commentary, he also runs the tournament. Then Be Heard, uh, coaches the kids. This mat, this match though is exhausting. All of them just like, like this is probably like the, like, like that V trigger activation to EXCP to punish the boom. That's like, for a gal match, this is some super exciting stuff. And then the side switch, but not fast enough, not quite believing. Doesn't matter. Gets another hit confirm. These matches are so fast paced. There's so much going on, like in terms of trades. Jump ins like it's not a it is not a patient match that's going on right now. This is not a patient match. Oh my god, it's, it's like I can't I can't keep up. I can't keep up with this. Like if I was if I was playing, if I was underscores right now, right? I don't I I think I would have lost purely to mental fatigue. Like just straight up mental fatigue. I don't think I can handle the piece that Chris is putting on right now. Which is a little weird to say because I this is that's the kind of game plan that I play with Ken, where it's like you, that, that kind of constant pressure even though you're not doing anything that's like super real. You're not really doing anything that's real. You do some real frame traps and stuff, but you don't do any you don't do a lot of real frame traps. And you just, you just wear down your opponent mentally. I do that a lot, but... Oh my god. I don't think I could have kept up for so many games. Which, I mean, Chris is up two games zero in this bracket reset. Although, Underscore is making quite the comeback right now. He seems to have found his ground. He seems to have found his pacing, his setup. And he's looking like he's gonna take the first game after post reset. Trying to jump in, but doesn't matter. Gets Sabat on Chris's jump in, and he takes a game for himself. Keeping himself in there. You're talking about Chris? No, this is this is definitely a player or a there's a very one. specific character matchup playstyle that Chris has got going on right now. And it's not like you like you play against characters differently. And like one of the things that uh that I kind of tell other Ken players, right? Because we're like, how do you beat Guy? I'm like, you jump at him. You jump at him. You pressure Guy. You jump at him. Even though he's good at dealing with pressure and he has great anti-airs and such. Like, you can't let him set up his defensive wall. You have to go in. You have to go in on that guy. And that's exactly what Chris is doing with some great jump in spacing. Like, seriously, I don't think Chris has been any eared by a flash kick yet because he's got such great spacing on that. He keeps beating them out. Oh, wait. Right as I say it, he gets that. And then tries to punish that, uh. 
I'm surprised to punish that fireball a little bit too slow. Underscores. Pull it together. Pull it together. For it to go on for so many games, it's so exhausting. Once again, punishing the boom with a V trigger activation, that's so smart. It's so good, it's so smart. Like, it's nuts how good that is. Utilizing Sakura's good walk up, walk back speed to, uh, to get a shimmy of his own, and then shimmies him again. What's it gonna be? No EX. I would have sworn that was gonna be an EX flash kick, but no. Underscore is throwing that restraint and ends up paying the price for it. Chris going up the tournament point. Slowing things down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe he's feeling the pressure. Maybe he's feeling the pressure. Maybe he doesn't actually want to be playing that fast. Yeah, maybe not. A maybe he doesn't actually want to play that fast. Um. 15 and 16 frame dashes are unreactable. What are you talking about? Not in any like meaningful way anyway. Chris with the wake up button yet again. Cashin. Cashin underscores with his fake DD pressure. Getting another... Oh, Jumping, but then eating a boom. But gets the air air. What's it gonna be? Throw? Oh my god, do it. Dude, flash kick you fool! No! And Chris just gets the ick fireball cake at the game and the tournament. Sakura wins. Clean. Chris too strong. Chris too strong. Alright, you have somewhere to be? Oh, that, that's why you're playing so fast, huh? That's why you're playing so fast. Alright, GG's. Get out of here. Out of here, Chris.